Data is at the heart of business success, and it can be utilized to help you make more informed and intelligent decisions for your brand. However, while everybody wants to get the most value out of their data, you may not be using your data efficiently, and therefore leaving plenty of potential untapped. Here are 10 signs that you're not making the most out of your data. At number 10, employees don't understand their role with data. Your employees need to know the role they play when it comes to gathering and protecting information. They also need to follow strict guidelines to help them keep aligned with security rules. A training system should be implemented that shows your team members how to efficiently back up and store their data and how to ask for permission when collecting third-party information. At number nine, you're dealing with data silos. Data silos have gained popularity following the increase in cloud-based software and new contact center tools. However, silos make it difficult to get an in-depth insight into your organization. To get around this, you need to link all your information together in the same environment. At number eight, storing data is starting to cost a fortune. Without the right strategy in place, you could find yourself paying a lot in data storage costs. It's important to find the right plan to determine the type of information you will be collecting and how to clean your databases regularly. This will help organizations better use their data to their advantage. At number seven, you can't take advantage of new data sources. Companies should be embracing the new sources of valuable data. However, if you're not equipped to adopt them, you'll be missing out on the opportunities they provide. You need a strategy in place to assess the latest data sources, identify what you need to collect, and to know what hardware or software is necessary for your needs. At number six, you have no single version of the truth. All businesses should be trying to achieve a single version of the truth. This means that all of the data you collect is unified into a single central repository. By having your data distributed across multiple systems and software solutions, the likelier it is that your information is inaccurate, redundant, or perhaps out of date. And at number five, your analytics are revealing contradictory insights. A model data analytics strategy can lead to confusing and contradictory insights. To avoid this, organizations need a good understanding of the information available to them. Gathering more data does not necessarily lead to better results, and without organizing that data, doing an efficient audit becomes much more difficult. At number four, you risk losing everything if your data is breached. Having a plan B in case of a data breach is hugely important. Backups and protection against incidents, such as natural disasters and criminal attacks, should not be compromised. Companies without this kind of protection should consider investing in backup systems on the cloud, which offers scalability unlike that on-premise. At number three, you've already experienced a data breach. If you've already had a data breach of some kind, this can be indicative of a poor data strategy. Companies must heighten their protection against criminals as best as possible. Modern data storage solutions and analytics services will have a security system in place, as well as encryption for all of your information. At number two, you can't carry out strategic forecasting. Strategic forecasting with big data can result in an increase in profits and reduction in operational costs. However, without an effective data analytics and management strategy, you would not be able to forecast effectively. You may also be unable to feed your data to AI tools either, meaning you'll not be able to take advantage of predictive analytics. And finally, at number one, you are providing amazing customer experiences. Investing in information today allows you to improve your interactions with your target audience. By gathering data from various conversations with customers, you'll get a better idea of how to deliver an improved buying and aftercare experience for them. As a result, you could save money through customer retention. And that's all for now. My name is Rima Farhan. For the best articles, the best podcasts, the best white papers, the best interviews, the best features, and for more amazing top tens like this, visit em360tech.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.